Hello, I'm David Carter. In this series of videos, I want to introduce you to Excel-based report writers. Now, I think these packages are very important, but they're very new to the market, so I'm going to start by giving a simple demonstration of what they do. Uh, the report writer we're going to use is called BBXL. I've been testing it out with a couple of customers of mine over the last few months. I'm going to base the demo around Sage Line 50, an accounts package most people use, and we'll be using the Sage demonstration company. Okay, so here we are. I've written this PL report for Stationery and Computer Mart UK, which is a Sage demo company. Now you can see standard Sage account numbers, 4,000 series sales, 5,000 series purchases, and below it, 6,000, 7,000 overheads. You've got three columns, actual budget variance. Now, most of this report is just pure Excel. So the totals are just straight sum, formulas, variance, another formula. Now, so, some of these items here, they're all budgets. I've just typed them all in. And all the colouring and the bold, of course, is standard Excel formatting. But it's different when I type onto the actuals column because here I now see a big Excel formula and this is linking Excel directly to the underlying set to Sage database via ODBC or whatever. Now this linking means that as any new transaction is posted onto Sage, it will be automatically carried through into this Excel report, as I shall now demonstrate. Now you see this naught here, we're going to do a posting in Sage um, of £999 to account 4001 and we'll see it coming through into uh, this Excel report. Just to increase the suspense, I'm just going to change this from March to April. Okay, now, now we're in Sage, so I'm going to go into the demonstration company. Type in password for some reason. Okay, here we are, Stationery and Computer Mart UK. I'm going to do a, go into Customers and we'll do a quick batch invoice. Okay, so here we are, we've ty typed in the invoice and dated March. Account 4001, Sales South, Department 2 for £999. So I'll post that from Sage and then I'll switch back into Excel. And here we are in April and the suspense is terrific. So I'll just quickly go into BB Excel and I'll just use Refresh. And it just says, you know, Refresh. And we'll close that and back into Excel, and we'll just click now on March, and here's our £999. Okay, now this really is rather important, and you have to consider the implications. Okay, firstly, the data is, is guaranteed to be accurate, because all the transactions are just flowing through directly from Sage. And second, the data is automatic. You know, after this report's been set up, you just have to press refresh data to keep it up to date, so you never have to rebuild it. You just write the report once, and after that it's going to run forever. Okay, so we've got these benefits of linking to live data. We still have all the nice features of Excel. But in addition to this, of course, remember, these are specialist report writing packages. So they add lots of nice new features to Excel for making reports. Now, I've used this month selector already, but I'll just run it again just to show you. So keep an eye on the actuals columns. We change the month here from March to April. Can you see all the figures are recalculated in, in, in the actuals column? Okay, and we've also got on here over C5, we've got departments. So I'll just click on there, the list. Now, unfortunately, the data on Sage Demo Company is very limited, but if I choose number one, which is the sales department, can you see the sales state saying, but all the material, the purchases have disappeared, right? So if I change that now and I choose department two, which is purchases, then all the sales now disappear and the, the materials appear. And if I change April, to March, up comes that £999 worth of sales I made on behalf of Nominal Sales South. So it, it's not brilliant, but you can you can see that we can easily segment this PL by month or, or by department using one of these report writers. Okay, I've made the screen a bit smaller now. Now here's a couple of other layouts I often use. So if I just make pull that over there and I bring these over. Now one of the things we often get asked on any answers is about peer, Sage users asking how to produce PL reports by department. And here's a layout I often use. You've got company total down on the left here, and on the right you have a column for each individual department. And the total of all the individual departments adds up to the company total. Now we're, this is for the, company, the year as a whole, so, but if I can just simply choose to click it down here, and I can choose to see individual months, and all the numbers are recalculated. Okay, so you can see it for by, by period or, or by, by year as a whole. And similarly, 
that's by department so here's another one I did and this one is month on month and again very similar format company total down the left here and here each column is for each month uh, and I do like these month on month layouts because they give you some idea of trends now again this is for the company as a whole but I can go up to the department box and I can just segment it and I can just say choose department one and that was the sales department wasn't it numbers all recalculated just for department one and department two as I said there's not much data on here but you can see that all the numbers are recalculated with individual departments okay so we're back where we started that's an initial overview to give you an idea now, I have to say that I do think these Excel report writers have an awful lot going for them and that they're definitely the way of the future um, you've got all the flexibility and the formatting of Excel you've got direct link to Sage which means the data is always accurate you've got these extra nice new report writing features you know, it's all good news uh, there's quite a few of them on the market it's not just BBXL I did a roundup on accounting web last October of all the available packages I know of I think the only issue you seriously need to check on is that of ease of use um, you'll be wanting to write your own reports in Excel with this and uh, you know these this Excel SQL formula was pretty complicated so in the next video I'll be creating this report on the screen um, from scratch and you can see how easy or otherwise it is to build a report for yourself